I'm Julie Lindsay. And uh, look, I'm a global educator, global collaborator, author, etc. But my new position since completing my PhD is with the University of Southern Queensland. I'm the Associate Director for Digital Learning Innovation. The COVID-19 pandemic has hit Australia like it has hit everywhere else in the world and education has been particularly affected. In the K-12 context, uh, schools did close for a couple of months. Uh, they have been reopened in a staggered sort of way in the last month. Uh, it's going to be a little bit up and down. We, we can already monitor that in Australia now. Some schools have closed again because of an outbreak in the school community. Uh, at higher education, the universities closed, campuses were closed. Uh, every, basically everything has had to go online. And that has been an amazing challenge for K-12 educators as well as higher education academics and educators. So now, of course, from my point of view, being a digital learning um, expert, there are no excuses left anymore for anyone to not go online. We've had years, decades of, no, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm happy teaching face to face. And we've had to really do a lot of scrambling to put resources online and to start to look at the pedagogy. So what I'm seeing here in Australia is the digitization of resources, which has been going on for 15 years now. And the, well, this is now what, what we call online learning because everything's digitized. But then this slow realization is coming about that, no, this is actually not online learning. This is just putting digital resources up there for students to grab. Online learning, good online learning, looks a little bit different to this. And so now this is our challenge. And I've seen it. Um, in the work that I'm doing in higher education and in K-12, the next hurdle is to make sure that we're offering the best online learning um, experience um, for students. And that means a, a basket full of tools, a basket full of, of different pedagogies. Otherwise, um, you know, it's not, it's not too good. Otherwise, people, it's, it's education is not really going to progress. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, the face-to-face -face learning environment is still, of course, of great value. But, you know, the university I work for, 70% plus of the students are totally online. So the face-to-face -face, uh, students are not, well, they're not the majority for a start, uh, but they're, they're also, you know, the blended learning environment is also crucial for them, that we provide a good blended learning environment. So let's see, I think the outcome of this will be that, that educators, education leaders need to look seriously at improving online learning so that people, students are not disadvantaged. Students have access to devices, schools have provided devices, a lot of schools have bought devices and sent them home. Uh, higher education, they generally have access. Some students have been disadvantaged because libraries have shut, you know, university campuses and of course schools and all of our local libraries have shut or did shut, they've started to open again now. Uh, so yes, access was a bit of an issue, but not, not so much. I think, you know, from my perspective, oh, uh, another issue of course was the homeschooling piece. You know, a lot of, there's a lot of funny videos around about parents, you know, starting their first drink for the evening at four o'clock or something like that because of having to cope with homeschooling. So luckily, my stage of life, I don't have anyone here at the moment who needs homeschooling. Uh, but I have full sympathy and empathy with, with parents who might have two or three kids at home that they're trying to homeschool and work from home. And the other issue, of course, um, our office supply shops all ran out of office equipment because everyone suddenly had to set up their home office. They didn't have chairs, they didn't have tables. They had, you know, two kids and, a, and two people, two adults working and learning from home and nowhere to sit and do it. So that, that was another funny, funny but not funny issue.